Stanford police may be getting body cameras. Mayor David Martin announced last week that the city will be applying for a grant by the Department of Justice. The program, known as the Federal Body Worn Camera Pilot Partnership, will provide support to law enforcement agencies to develop and implement a system for the devices. The moment I heard about it, I called um, Karen, our grants officer, and Ted Jankowski, and said, we're applying for this grant, and because this is an important aspect to help our community, and um, we want to move forward in that way. The grant initially in this round is for $20 million. Uh, I believe it's going to provide uh, body cameras for 20 20 to 50 municipalities, uh, smaller size uh, police departments. Uh, it's a 50-50 match. So what are the advantages of body cameras? Well, for one, city officials say they're an added safety measure for both police and civilians. The number of, of uh, I'll call them uh, violent incidents between police officers and citizens um, is actually reduced when a body camera is in place. There's been some studies uh, performed that shows that the civilian uh, encounter that they will be having, uh, the person does calm down when they find out that they are being videotaped. Whether it is that the police officers are more careful in, in their use, um, or whether it is that the public it becomes more um, uh, respectful of the police officers in these engagements. Either way, we have less um, difficult an environment. Body cameras also create more transparency. If there are any conflicts or questions, uh, they can be resolved immediately. Uh, some statistics show that uh, in most of the encounters that have been reviewed through body cameras, a uh, police officer has been vindicated of uh, potential misdoings, uh, statements made by uh, individuals that they have encountered. Uh, and it also vindicates uh, civilians at times when, uh, when their side of the, uh, the story has not been heard. To stay one step ahead, the city's department is already in the process of drafting body camera policies. So you need to have the right procedures about when body cameras are turned on, when the public is notified, when um, the police take the body cameras and hold it as potential evidence in a particular situation, etc. Officials say this is all part of a larger push to make Stanford safer. The city is also in the process of expanding its surveillance camera program with plans to put cameras in parks and other areas. This is all uh, as part of that technological effort and uh, it's the push forward to make sure that we are as safe as we could possibly be, uh, safety for the police officer as well as safety for, uh, for civilians and residents here. Reporting in Stanford, I'm Samantha McKelvey for It's Relevant News.